My primary responsibility for the festival is the Future Projections program, where cinema kind of meets the visual arts in a moving image context. So we're looking at artists and filmmakers trying to do non-traditional work outside of the cinema space. Usually we do about between 8 to 12 a year, and uh, this year is no exception. We have work all around the city, plus a great piece on the atrium wall at TIFF Bell Lightbox. We do a lot of traveling for TIFF Bell Lightbox, and we are preparing a major show on China and Chinese cinema next year, and so I found myself there a lot um, over the last little while. And checking in with some of the big gallerists, including these uh, folks called Shanghart, which are uh, major folks in uh, Shanghai. I was just sort of chatting about some of the artists that they have and maybe some of the work that we could do. And this wonderful artist called Yang Wei walked in with uh, a new project. And I was like, yeah, I'd love to take a look at that. She's an interesting artist. She usually does things that are shot in the streets of China, you know, very urban, very contemporary. And so she opens up her laptop and it's all shots of Canada. You know, she's actually done a profile of Canada under the snow. Canada is like a source of condensation and precipitation. This beautiful, serene installation that now we've actually brought here to the festival. But I had to go to China to get something beautiful about Canada. This is a really interesting year for cinema. There's a lot of transitions happening among the most sort of exciting of the independent filmmakers. I think probably the film I'm most excited about is Museum Hours by Jem Cohen. He's a pioneer in things like uh, long form music videos, more artistically minded ones for people like R.E.M. He's also made fantastic music documentaries featuring people like Vic Chestnut and Benjamin. Uh, but he's really turned his attention to narrative cinema over the last little while and he's come up with this really quite extraordinary film that I think really marries his kind of interest in things outside of traditional cinema language. So he's gone into one of the great museums of the world in Vienna and shot this gorgeous movie about how art occupies us, how when we see the great paintings of old it speaks to us about the world around us, the social issues that surround us, even with paintings that are five and six hundred years old. It's an amazing work because it actually brings you into this whole history of the visual arts in a way that I don't recall seeing before. So my hidden gem this year is actually not a film, it's an installation by Ming Wong. He's a Berlin-based artist and he likes to remake movies. Um, we remake them in a really singular and strange style. He's working with the film Chinatown this year, which was directed by Roman Polanski and stars Jack Nicholson, very well-known movie. What he's done is he's actually reenacted about six or seven of the key scenes in the film with him playing all the characters. It really turns around the idea about identity and text and even artificiality. So the film's set in Los Angeles. It almost feels like it's against these uh, sort of sun-bleached flats, you know, the sets that they use on the, in the studios in Hollywood. And so as a result, he actually does this amazing thing where he creates these environments using blown up photographs from the film to actually create the environments for the installation. So you're actually seeing these reenacted scenes, you know, with the actual visual material from the film itself, but changed completely. 